a mystery of endless love. This describes the celebration at the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre on Holy Thursday in commemoration of the supper in which Jesus instituted the Eucharist and the priesthood and washed the apostles' feet. In the rest of the world, this solemn Eucharistic celebration, which opens the Easter Triduum, takes place in the evening, but because of the high demand on the holy site, in Jerusalem it takes place early in the morning and is presided over by the Bishop of the Diocese, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, his Beatitude Fuad Tual. It is a great occasion for us, a great event with three aspects, the Eucharist, the priesthood and the service, going out to convert the whole world. Today is a special day. Among the long-awaited moments in this celebration is the washing of feet. The Patriarch imitated Jesus' gesture with 12 seminarians. It was a wonderful, beautiful time. It reminded me of my vocation and of when my vocation began. And I still hear the call that God makes to me every day. Today he continues to make it to me, to go and serve as the most humble as well as the poorest. The blessing of the oils and the renewal of priestly vows are two other signs. In the consecrated life, this day takes on an even greater meaning. We are consecrated and this is our feast. Best wishes. This is the day for priests and consecrated religious. Thanks to my consecration, as a priest I live thanks to this gift that I have received. I can consecrate the bread and the wine and he returns to live among us. At the conclusion of the celebration, the Blessed Sacrament was carried around Christ's empty tomb three times in procession and once around the Stone of Anointing, and it was then placed inside the tomb itself, which for one day became a sort of monstrance. The gift of Christ calls all Christians to give up their own lives as gifts. So this is how at my interpretation, if Jesus Christ gives uh, his life for us, we also want to give our life to him for our faith and love and service for him. From here we send out a call to think about the Holy Land, to think about the Mother Church, about the origin where everything began. We are counting on you. Solidarity is also lived out with prayer from afar. Pray for this land.